They are. No, it is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What it takes to be on top right now. I know I'm your favorite. This ain't J Profit. Politics and relevance. This ain't J6, but it's an insurrection. I took Jack Smith and Bonnie Willis. Let's go. To the next level. Hey, I got mad and triggered in a state of shock. Cause the time has come. The proud boys got 22. For seditious conspiracy. They did. What happened to Mac the Blue? He told you to march through the Capitol and he would be the too. Officers died and they wanted to hang kids too. He said Biden would lose, he beat Trump too. You said you wanted the truth, and now you got Zeus. So who's the Marxist and communist and fascist? Let's see it. Donald Trump and the banker Republicans representing. Alright, let's get this show started, ladies and gentlemen. You know I gotta get in my zone. I feel like I'm stuck in cycle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's gonna be an interesting it's today. Like I'm stuck in time. It's gonna be an interesting day today. It's like a curse. Because I'm not gonna let up on Magus. Oh, it's called They Say They Care. I haven't released it yet, Miss Moss Diva. But it will be. It's deja vu when I'm running up these rats. More is coming. I'll be back. It's deja vu when I'm out here flying first class. It's like every week I gotta take out the trash. I'm on top of my game, head of the class. You can tell that I made it, look at my grass Cars in the garage with tanks full of gas I play the game so long, I won't finish last Sitting in my living room, screaming how we made it This is how we're supposed to happen when you get your famous The algorithm turns you a maniac I guess we going viral cause my Sony yeah. I got all these numbers on my spreadsheet Benjamin Franklin is my best beat And if they use my ex, they they left me Just because I mean it. Got a lot of confidence and I'm conceited. Right. Call me the master with a new whip. I'm going to take off this place. Here you go. I am not in disease because I was in a couple of days. Yes. Shit was radical. Very radical. It was, it was horrible. I'm like, you gone, Zeus has gone way off the rails. It's like deja vu. It's like deja vu. It's like deja vu. Friday to everyone, all right? Are we all doing good today? How's everyone doing? Um, you know, uh, let me get straight to the housekeeping. For those of you who do not know who I am, I go by the name Zeus, all right? That's why I put it above my head so there's no questions about who I go by, all right? But I also go by the name of Triple H, all right? 
And uh, why do they call me Triple H? Well, it's quite simple. It's because I'm honest. I'm the most honest person on social media. There's nobody more honest than me, all right? If, all right, I promise to tell you nothing but the truth, so help me God, all right? The second H is because I am humble. Thank you, Seasons, for that subscription. Shout out to Seasons. Uh, the second H is because I'm humble. There's nobody more humble than me. If I get it wrong, I really will be the first to apologize. But I haven't gotten it wrong lately. Mm -hmm. and, and the last H is because I am and will always remain the most handsome. <laughs> How am I looking out there, ladies and gentlemen? I got a few haters out there that are jealous of my handsomeness, all right? And it's Democrats and Republicans. I'm starting to find out. Uh, you know, a lot of times people, they come at Zeus, and uh, I don't really get it. But I got it yesterday after I had a, a very interesting live. Someone came in here, and they said, Zeus, uh, you're, you're ugly, and, and, and I don't know why people listen to you. And I said, oh, I get it. You're jealous of my handsomeness, all right? All right, so listen up. If you are insecure about how you look, I got something to say to you. Listen, jealousy is a sign of weakness. You don't need to be jealous of what I look like, all right? What you do need to do is sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast. And maybe some of this handsomeness will rub, will, will rub off on your ugly behind, all right? Because listen, it's not what you know, all right? It's who you know, and it's not what you do. It's how you do it. And I look good doing what I do, right? <laughs> All right, so let's get straight to it. For those of you who aren't familiar with what we do on this side of town, what we do is we hold our friends on the right accountable, all right? And I'm talking about Donald Trump and MAGA. We hold them accountable for their dirty, disgusting, uh, filthy deeds, all right? All right, and, and what that means is we bring an overwhelming amount of truth out here on TikTok, all right? This is not a space right now to have a debate. I did that yesterday in the closet of truth, and boy, oh boy, you see why I don't do it, all right? I'm, I almost, listen... I was debating Snuggles yesterday, who who opened up and showed the world just how, you know, racist he is, right? He might not necessarily be intentionally racist, but the stuff he was saying. And for a split second, I was about to throw it all away on my platform. I was about to really lay it, and I said, you know what? It's not worth it, Zeus. The show must go on. The truth must continue to get out here. We're not going to throw away our platforms for MAGA. All right, so to my fellow Democrats out there, do not allow MAGA to convince you to throw it all away because of their nasty, nasty behavior. Some of them are very nasty. All right, so we hold our friends on the right accountable for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds. All right, so if you are a person that is allergic to truth or as my good friend Brother Swervin likes to say, you're factose intolerant, uh, you might want to exit this live because it's about to get real heavy. All right, but listen, you don't got to take my word for it. What? Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country. I know you do. If you're not happy here, you can leave. <laughs> if you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, and they do. very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Good morning. All right. So if you're still here after that, uh, you know, you're on your own, all right? And I will not be kind to MAGA, all right? We can't be kind to Donald Trump and his supporters anymore, right, Ange? Because we've reached a new place in society where we can't be nice to them because the gloves are off and the jar is open. Everyone knows he's... And I wouldn't have said this three weeks ago. I wouldn't have said it. I was actually very kind to him. I was very kind to him. But now we can't be kind anymore because... The gloves are off. Right, the gloves are off. The jar has been opened. The jar has been opened, MAGA. And so now it's time for you to take what's yours, all right, which is this truth. All right, so uh, I normally have a special message crafted before I launch into the topics today. And so in light of the uh, the mass pew-pewing events that have transpired in Maine, where a MAGA deranged white terrorist has unleashed a barrage of fear uh in a community uh i want to make sure uh i'm not gonna let this one slip through the cracks this time all right you know normally i don't like to go this route but and they can say i'm race baiting that's fine they can they call me all kinds of, they say i'm soros funded and all of that uh yeah i'm all of that and a bag of chips so maga buckle up because you gotta listen to this so we're gonna talk about a little thing called racism all right and and i say little but it's really not little. Uh, it seems MAGA thinks racism in this country doesn't exist. They think that, oh, well, well, Zeus, since, since you weren't 
born during slavery, you know, the way that they know what slavery is. You must be living a good old life. And, you know, uh, and, and while that might be the belief that they have, uh, I want to remind MAGA that racism never went anywhere and it is alive and well in this country. And I know that for a fact because that's what you stand on. That's what you openly embrace. And, and we're going to make sure you, we hold you accountable for doing that. All right. All right. So good morning, my uh, my fellow Americans, Democrats, independents and real Republicans. MAGA, you just sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast. Uh, I sit before you once again on this sacred throne in Olympus to give you uh, another update about a pressing issue that continues to haunt our great nation. Racism in America. It is the subject that demands our attention, our empathy, and our unwavering commitment to change. While progress has undoubtedly been made over the years, the harsh reality remains that racism persists in our society and is deeply rooted in the very fabric of our nation. And at this point in time, 2023, it is currently being openly embraced by Donald Trump and MAGA. Racism is not an abstract concept confined to the history books. You hear that, Snuggles? It is an ongoing reality that affects the lives of countless individuals every single day in this country. We cannot turn a blind eye to the systemic injustices faced by marginalized communities, nor can we deny the pain and suffering that continues to be experienced by those who endure the burden of discrimination solely based on the color of their skin and at the, uh, at the, at the based on the rhetoric that Donald Trump continues to espouse from his social media platforms, all right? American history is uh, marred with episodes of racial oppression, from the horrors of slavery and segregation to the persistent racial disparities that persist in our institutions today. These injustices have left lasting scars on our society, wounds that have not yet healed completely. And while we have made strides towards equality, there is a lot there's a lot more work that needs to be done. A defining characteristic of racism is its insidious nature. It not only manifests in overt acts of hatred, or as I like to call, terrorism, but it also lurks within the cracks of our institutions, perpetuating disparities in education, unemployment, or I meant to say employment, housing, and the criminal justice system. It is a poison that seeps into the very core of our society, hindering progress and stifling the potential of millions and millions of American citizens and, and even migrants. We must acknowledge that racism is not limited to individual acts of prejudice. You know, I hear these blacks for Trumps and these Latins for Trump, and they try to say that because of their situation that racism doesn't exist. You're wrong. All right, you're really wrong when you say stuff like that. And all you're doing is emboldening Donald Trump and MAGA to continue to uh, embrace this kind of racism I'm talking about. All right, it is a structural issue that requires a, a, a holistic approach to address. We must confront our own biases, challenge the status quo, and actively, and I do mean actively, dismantle the systems that perpetuate racial inequalities. This requires... This requires difficult conversations like the one I had yesterday with you, Snuggles. Uncomfortable self-reflection and a collective commitment to change. MAGA, you can change if you want to, all right? But it's a lot of work you got to do, all right? And I'm not doing it for you. Uh, one of the things I wanted to point out, and Shay did a good job of making sure she touched on this while we were talking to our, uh, a good guy. I guess his name is Paul. He, st he stuck around and listened to what we had to say. Education is a very, very, very powerful tool in the fight against racism. And we must strive to create uh, an inclusive learning environment that teaches the true history of our nation. 
one that acknowledges both the triumphs and the dark chapters. And by equipping our youth with the knowledge and empathy, we can foster a new generation of compassionate individuals who will stand against injustice and discrimination. We must also ensure that our institutions are held accountable for their actions and political leaders like Donald Trump and MAGA as well. And that the voices of the marginalized communities are amplified, all right? It is imperative that we advocate for policies that promote equity, diversity, and inclusion, both in public and private sectors. Representation matters, and we must support and uplift those leaders, only those leaders who reflect the rich diversity of our nation. Furthermore, and this is a big one, we must actively for you Trump supporters out there, those of you MAGA folks who think you're not racist, and you really are, I'm saying this to you, you must actively listen to the experiences of those who have been marginalized and oppressed. I'm going to say that again, MAGA. You must actively listen to the experiences of those who have been marginalized and oppressed. I don't care what you got to say. I'm talking to the MAGA demon, right? And a lot of them got to you MAGA possessed individuals. I don't care what you have to say. You're wrong. You need to actively listen to what we're saying. And I know you could do it if you would just stop only using that skill for Donald Trump and use it for everything else that's going on around your behind. All right. It is imperative that we advocate for policies that promote equity and diversity and inclusion, both in public and private sectors. All right. Because like I said earlier, representation matters. My fellow Americans, listen, uh, uh, tackling racism requires a united front, transcending political and social and cultural divides. It demands that we confront our own biases and prejudices and work tires, tirelessly towards building a society that values the inherent worth and dignity of every individual, regardless of their race and ethnicity. So stop talking about these migrants who are coming in through the border. All right, because they, you know what? They're also a part of American history. It's not like this just started happening. I'm so tired of these so-called Christians, these so-called Trump supporters, these so-called I help children, MAGA possessed demonic folks being so quick to demonize people of color. But then, you know, they give an excuse to these these terrorists. That are going around harming children. You know these white guys going around picking up these these rifles. You you could go and find you could go find these pictures and show. Oh well, look, Zeus. All of these people are doing mass shooting, and you know they try to put all these different races in there. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, so so you want me to believe now? All of a sudden, uh, the biggest threat to our country are the minorities. The same minorities that you've been taking advantage of since the founding of this country. You must have lost your mind. Let us remember the strength of the nation lies not only in its ability to ignore its flaws, but in its willingness to confront them head on. By acknowledging the reality of racism in America, we will be able to take the first steps towards a more just and equitable future. A future where the color of one's skin no longer determines their opportunities and their worth. All right. And so I'm going to end it on that right there, ladies and gentlemen, because I understand racism is a very, very serious issue in this country. But I want to make sure I let Donald Trump and his supporters know that just because you don't want to deal with it doesn't mean it goes away. It's like you got these bills out here just because you don't pay your bill. Does that mean it goes away? No. It's still going to be there. And your credit right now is looking real nasty in America when it comes to racism, MAGA. I see what you do. You, you, you Listen, MAGA. I'm one of these folks out here that I understand you don't care about facts, data, and statistics. Because if you did, you would do better. Right? So I got to point out the realities that are going on in this country. And the realities, MAGA, whether you believe it or not, and I'm going to touch on it later, is that... The folks terrorizing the United States, it isn't who you'd like to say it is. It's you. And I'm talking to all of you. And you know exactly who you are. Check yourself.
Don't you dare say another thing to what I need to do. All right, you check yourself. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's give Donald Trump and MAGA their first dose of booze and shame for openly embracing racism and trying to act like we don't see it for what it is. Let's give them some booze and shame. <laughs> I will all listen. You have listen. You have my one hundred and ten percent promise that every single time Snuggles brings up the issue of what's going on at the border, I will instantly remind him about the domestic terrorists in this country. All right, you have my one hundred and ten. I'm not gonna. He tells me I need to let it go. Oh no, buddy. I'm not going to let it go. And you can tell that to all of your friends, Stacy and Janae, conservative Lynn. I don't care. Bushmaster. All right. You can tell whoever you want that I'm going to make sure that as much as you want to bring that border up, I'm going to be like, well, who attacked the Capitol on January 6th? Who's the one terrorizing these communities? You know, especially the ones that put on their badge, you know, and they say they're in law enforcement. You know, my mom likes to call them criminal with criminals with badges. Yeah, we're going to talk about the criminals with badges, too, right? <laughs> they out here terrorizing our communities. And, and, and you know what really gets me, ladies and gentlemen? This is what got me right now, right? When you get these Trump supporters and the first thing they like to say, what the first thing they like to do is to come at me and go, well, Zeus, uh, don't you think, don't you, <laughs> don't you think the DOJ and the FBI is corrupt. <laughs> Who are you talking to? If you knew if you knew American history the way that I knew American history, the answer to that question is obvious. Don't start complaining now when they ain't working for you. When they were when they start working and they ain't working for you, now you all of a sudden realize there was a problem. Where were you at years ago? Where were you at years ago? When our people were out there uh, really getting crushed by these agencies. And we were trying to tell you then. And we were asking you to help us out a little bit. You know, give us a little bit of help. You know, these agents. Oh, well, you know, you should just comply. Remember they used to tell us that? Remember they used to tell us that? He should have complied. Remember that? Oh, oh, all these. Every single time one of these law enforcement, these criminals with badges. I'm not talking about all officers, but the criminals with badges. Every time they unalived or harmed a person of color, and you watch the video footage, you know, these same folks will come to you and say, why didn't he just comply? Huh. Well, MAGA, that's the same question I got for you. Why don't you just comply? Yeah. Try it out a little bit. Right? Tell, tell Donald Trump the same thing. Donald. Donald. Why don't you just comply? Why, why, why we gotta make this look like it's a big thing? If it's, it's a witch hunt, you know what, Donald Trump? Just put your hands behind your back and trust in the process. All right, you're gonna be judged by a jury of your peers, and if you're innocent, you're gonna come out squeaky clean. Donald and Maga, what's all this back and forth about? And I guarantee you these same folks won't do it. All of a sudden, it's a two-tier justice. You know, it's a two-tier justice system, Zeus. Oh, really? How does it work? How, how, and tell me which tier do you think uh, Zeus is in? MAGA, tell me. Which tier do you think I mean? Do you think I'm in the same tier as Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, MAGA know how to be victims sometimes, don't they? I've never seen folks that know how to be victims like MAGA. All right, all right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sidestep this for a second and get into some of these topics that we gotta address today. And, and but then, I'm gonna warn you, I'm gonna warn you, Trump supporters. I'm gonna dive back in to this MAGA racism uh, towards the tail end of this. All right, but I gotta make sure we get at least some. Some political information out here because I know not everybody wants to talk racism, all right, or they want to talk about this. So we'll give you other things that you want, perhaps, all right. So the first thing I do want to uh, at least acknowledge is that um, yesterday, uh, U.S. fighter jets did strike um, Iran-linked sites in Syria, and this was in retaliation for attacks on the U.S. troops. Um, 
Yes, uh, they launched a strike early Friday on two locations in eastern Syria. All right. Uh, and it's linked to Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps. The Pentagon said it is in retaliation for a slew of drone and missile strikes against the United States bases and personnel in the region that began early last week. And the strikes reflect the Biden's administration's determination to maintain a delicate balance. The U.S. wants to hit Iranian-backed groups suspects of, suspected of targeting the United States as strongly as possible to deter future aggression possibly fueled by Israel's war against Hamas while also working to avoid inflaming the region and provoking wider conflict. Um, so this is definitely something to keep an eye on, right? Um, I tend to avoid uh, overstepping my bounds in foreign affair matters because I truly do understand that the implications behind what goes on in these areas, uh, they go beyond my my uh, my expertise, right? And you know, I'm Triple H and I got to always be honest and humble, right? So I just want to make sure folks do understand that this conflict is taking place over there and that the Biden administration is doing all they can. Um, whether you agree with it or not, I, I do believe it's important for you to research this on your own and come to an inform be able be able to make an informed decision about what's really going on. All right, all right. Now let's get back into uh, some domestic issues. All right, you know this is some of my one of my favorite things to do. All right, all right, all right, all right. And I do want to make sure I let MAGA know this. I have a standing bet with Snuggles that Donald Trump most likely will be in prison. By the end of this year for violating a gag order. I, I, and this is why he owes me a cheeseburger. And I will get the cheeseburger uh, at some point. I just don't know when. Um, and I just want to make sure we all understand this. Former President Donald Trump could face the real threat of pretrial detention. If he continues to defy gag orders from judges. Right? How many of you would like to see Donald Trump in jail before Christmas by a show of hands? The stake don't know the stake. The stake comes when 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 Jack Smith or Fonny and them they convict him. When he gets convicted, then I get to eat those steaks. And and I will be eating these steaks on TikTok live. And, and, and you're gonna see me uh ordering steaks at the restaurant. And I'm gonna say they're gonna say, How are you gonna pay for it? And we're gonna get snuggles on the phone, and I'm gonna say, give me your digits to your credit card, because this is coming out of your you know what, all right? So uh, this comes shortly after the former president was hit with a $10,000 fine for violating a gag order in the New York civil fraud case, which is said uh, to be, you know, small potatoes. <clears throat> and so they went on to say that, uh, listen, Jack Smith has been very forward leaning. All right. And in some cases, hyperbolic. He has pulled no punches in his court filing. And we were happy to see when you get about 10 to 11 pages in his most recent filing where he is arguing hard in favor of why Judge Tanya Chutkin should lift the, temp the temporary stay she put in place. Because, of course, the moment she put that stay in place, Donald Trump began to violate the gag order. And, yes, had been stayed for uh, sort of two to three days, he was gagged and had been prohibited from speaking. But... Here's where it gets interesting. The special counsel team wrote this. There has never been a criminal case in which a court has granted a defendant an unfettered right to try his case in the media, malign the judges as frauds and hacks, attack the prosecutor as deranged thugs, and, prom and promising if you go after me, I am coming after you to target specific witnesses with attacks on their character and credibility. Even suggesting one witness's actions warranted the punishment by being unalive. So what they're saying is uh, Jack Smith, ladies and gentlemen, is doing everything he can to make sure Donald Trump gets put in prison before the end of this year. So ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Jack Smith uh, a round of applause for being able to stand up and confront Donald Trump. And, and, and make sure he is held accountable for breaking the law, right? Let's give him a round of applause. We are a nation of law and order. <laughs> we really, really are. All right, now let's move on to 
um, our next topic. Now, we all know we got uh, Speaker Johnson, who is currently, you know, the Speaker of the House. And, and again, this is what I got to make sure we all understand. Uh, he, he did an interview with Sean Hannity, all right? And, of course, they did speak on uh, the, the mass uh, thing that happened, the mass unaliving that took place in Maine. And he went on to say... The problem is the human heart, not the pew pews. Uh, this is why this is an issue, all right? So you all know President Biden, Kamala Harris, Democrats in Congress are urging action in the wake of this, this nasty terrorist attack. And that, that left 18 people unalive. But Johnson argued that it was inappropriate to discuss uh, gun control in the middle of the crisis and that he believes it's not the weapon. Uh, it's the underlying problem. And so, Johnson, please tell the American people, if it's not if it's not the gun, Johnson, what is it then, Johnson? Tell us in America what exactly uh, is the problem. All right. So listen. Uh, as Speaker Johnson would have a key role in spearheading any legislation that could pass both the Republican-controlled House and the Democrat in the Democrat-controlled Senate, he told Hannity it was too soon. All right, and he doesn't believe that gun control would be effective. Then he added that in Europe, where guns are less acceptable, people intent on mass slaughter they use cars to mow down people. And here's the reality, though, in if he wants to use the example that he's using, uh, such incidents are far less frequent than the mass unaliving. So, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving this MAGA deranged speaker uh, a round of boos and shames because, once again, he's demonstrating that he's willing to turn a blind eye to the evil that MAGA does at the expense of Americans, including children. So let's give uh, Little Mike uh, a round of booze and shame. <laughs> on one side, listen. On one side, he wants to fund Israel, but he doesn't want to talk about supporting Ukraine, right? So you already know what we're about to get into with this guy and and I really do think it's actually a bit of a bittersweet uh thing that he's the speaker because I I, I really do believe these actions that the GOP are taking is really going to usher in uh, a, a a very massive blue wave come the uh 2024 election cycle a massive blue wave a, a massive blue wave is truly truly on the horizon all right um now you know what's a what's a great example of leadership right here ladies and gentlemen U.S. congressman says the time has come for me to take responsibility for this failure. At a somber press conference addressing the horrific main mass unaliving, the 36th mass unaliving in the United States this year, U.S. congressman Jared Golden, a Democrat in Maine, spoke about his failure as a policymaker and is asking his constituents for forgiveness as he seeks to put an end to these terrible events. Let's see if we can see what real leadership looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Now, we could be in full control among many other misjudgments. I have opposed efforts to ban deadly weapons of war like the assault rifle we use to carry out this crime. The time has now come for me to take responsibility for this failure, which is why I now call on the United States Congress to ban assault rifles like the one used by the sick perpetrator of this mass killing in my hometown of Lewis and Maine. For the good of my community, I will work with any colleague to get this done in the time that I have left in Congress. To the people of Lewiston, my constituents throughout the second district, to the families who lost loved ones, and to those who have been harmed, I ask for forgiveness and support as I seek to put an end to these terrible shootings. In the days to come, I will give everything I have to support this community's recovery. Thank you. That's real leadership. That's real leadership.
leadership, if you ask me. He did not have to do that, but this is what real leadership looks like, and it's coming from the Democrat Party. And this is why I encourage people, vote blue, because these are people who really care. They understand the problem, and they understand what's really going to have to happen, yeah. They're not running around here hiding, trying to do what we call off-the-focus behavior and blame everything but the real problem. All right, so I want to just make sure we give a special shout out to our good friend. All right, um, Jared Golden, ladies and gentlemen from Maine. Let's once again give him a, a nice round of applause. All right, and then <laughs> round of applause. Now, all right, now, 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 now we got to switch gears a little bit and get right back down to uh, MAGA business, right? And y'all ready for some MAGA business? All right, so. Yesterday, when this event transpired and I did my show, I told you folks this was a Trump supporter. And what did they do? They threw eggs at me. They told me that I was making it up. They called me a liar. They told me I'm using my pra my platform to spew hate. This is the reaction I got from MAGA. All right. But if you if you really sit back and just watch what's unfolding around you, all right, you can pick up and detect. What kind of behavior is MAGA behavior and what kind of behavior is it MAGA behavior, all right? And when this story first broke, I immediately knew it was a Trump supporter. I immediately knew it. I didn't have all the evidence, but I could sense this situation definitely is something somebody that has been sitting at home consuming Right-wing propaganda being radicalized. You know, when I speak about them, they sit at home, they watch Sean Hannity drinking that Diet Coke, and they find themselves angry, right? And that's how I knew it was a Trump supporter, right? And so I just want to draw your attention to this. So the question is, who radicalized uh, Robert Card? And the internet has launched into a bit of a bizarre attack on, on this so what we know about Robert Card, all right, he wasn't a transgender. He wasn't a drag queen. He wasn't an illegal immigrant, a migrant. He wasn't from the Mexican cartel. So the question is, who radicalized him? And the answer, ladies and gentlemen, all over the Internet Donald Trump radicalized him. And this is what I've been saying. So anybody that's a Trump supporter, you might be deep down inside a, a genuinely down-to-earth, decent person, right? But you know the saying, one bad apple spoils the bunch? You know that saying? That saying is true for a very good reason. All right, so listen, if you run with a pack of wolves or a pack of thieves, most likely we're going to think you're a thief. Whether you like that or not, that's just what goes down with it. So if you don't want to be called a thief, uh, I would encourage you to go ahead and get out of that pack of thieves. And if you don't want to be called uh, a traitor, you don't want to be called racist, I would advise you to get out of MAGA ASAP because it's not helping you. I, I would even go one step further, MAGA. Don't even put it on your application. I don't think it's, it's not going to help you because whatever you do, right, on your devices, and, and out in public, when it when it's done, when you end up violating the law and breaking it, we're going to go through all the records. We're going to pull your history up and we're going to find out, oh, link to Donald Trump, right? So another person said Donald Trump did this. Uh, here's another response. Fox News did this. The Republican Party did this. The church. Yeah, I know, fake Christians. Twitter. Mm -hmm. Facebook and 4chan. You see that Bushmaster? 4chan. That picture you got yesterday, you tried to show us something, you got it from 4chan, according to sources, all right? All right? Uh, tough question. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, Donald Trump did this. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hannity. Trump. McCarthy. Don Jr., etc. MAGA, the jig is up. You can talk about immigration all you want. Whenever you bring immigration up, I'm not even going to go any further in the discussion. I'm going straight to this. 
Look at what you got on your hands. You got a bunch of 2A loving Donald Trump humping. Right? These are some Trump humpers, like, <laughs> like Swervin said. These are some Trump humping animals, deranged. And you can say it's mental health all you want, MAGA. You really can. But I don't buy it. You want to talk about inner city crime? Well, Snuggles, you want to, you want to know what's going on in the inner cities in the crime? Right? Because you like, well, Zeus, why don't you speak on it? Here's Zeus. I mean, here's Snuggles. I'll tell you. Let's just go ahead and put that under mental health too, too Snuggles. What's the problem? When you see somebody robbing you, Snuggles, and any of you Trump supporters, don't you dare say it's crime. Just say, oh, that's a person experiencing a mental health issue. And give up whatever they want. Give it to them. They want your car. They want your keys. They want your shoes. They want your wallet. Just give it to them. It's mental health issues. Since you want, since you want to sell that BS to Zeus, <laughs> I'm not buying it. But if you want to sell that BS to me, I'm going to sell it back to you and I'm going to charge you. Because that's just how the game goes. If you don't, because I'm not buying it. And if you don't want to buy it, then don't you dare try to sell it to me. <laughs> Thank you, Ginger. Suckers born every night, okay, every day. And and MAGA, when it comes to that, you ain't nothing but a new lick. Seriously. All right. Now, my last and final topic, and I'm not letting up on it. Here we go. Someone compiled main shooter suspects Twitter history. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It's tied to MAGA. It's tied to Donald Trump and MAGA. How many of you, by a show of hands, how many of you really think this is a Trump supporter? This is a person that's radicalized. By a show of hands, raise your hands if you think this is a this 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 animal is a Trump supporter. You see that? You see that? Yeah. So you can throw your you can point your you can point your you can use your platforms to try to t talk about the border all you want. But the American people aren't buying it. The American people aren't buying it. Especially when their families are suffering at the hands of Donald Trump supporters. They're so desperate. They can't stand the fact that President Biden won and beat them. So now they're getting out here and engaging in destructive and dangerous behavior threatening americans you're attacking americans children and yet you still will get out here and try to defend the indefensible all right so you can go look this up make sure you get the screenshots ladies and gentlemen the people said you know this account the people asked and you shall receive robert card's twitter history even though elon musk tried to bleach it trump trained this is what he was into trump trained jim jordan Elon Musk, ending wokeness, Kevin McCarthy, it's the, it's the who's who of the right-wing Christian fascism ideology. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, this is the beauty of internet. Now, if you aren't familiar with what this is, this is the, the things that he has liked on Twitter. So you can go to that account I showed you, all right? And, and go through, there's actually a video there that actually shows you everything that he liked, all right? All right. Uh, okay, so uh, so you can see he likes Don Jr., Elon Musk, and so on, all right? Um, <clears throat> and they say they include a conservative MAGA page called Proud Patriots, Elon Musk, Mark Cuban, CNBC, Joe Rogan. I mean, this is what it takes to get radicalized by MAGA. This is... You consume this kind of content, I'm not going to be shocked that you wake up and do these kind of things. And and, and, and if you want to say that this person had a mental health issue, well, <clears throat> look at what he was treating his mental health issues with. Look at what he was treating his mental health issues with. Donald Trump rhetoric. <sighs> I mean, it's sad that I actually have to speak on this at this level. You know, I get really, I, I really do get tired of covering stuff like this. I really do. Um, so, so along those lines, this is what uh, one of the one of the commenters had to say. Uh, another radicalized, another angry, imbalanced, radicalized MAGA conspiracy theorist, a MAGA terrorist. Yep. 
How many of you believe this is true? All right, here's what they say. They are throttling it. It is my safe assumption. They can't allow it to trend as it goes against their Hunger Games agenda. This is what people are saying. A lot of, listen, I didn't go and do, uh, this research is already being done, ladies and gentlemen. When asked, are you surprised it's a Trump supporter? This is what they answer. Of course. We all knew it was a Trump supporter. Color me shocked. This is what one user says. All right. So, so ladies and gentlemen, I just want to end on this note by saying, uh, we know that the folks terrorizing the United States of America, for the most part, are Trump supporters. And that's not saying there aren't crimes being, there's not other crimes going on. Because there are crimes going on. And whether you're committing, you know, regular crimes like that or you're being a terrorist, uh, I'm firmly against that. But let's not, let's not play games about what the real threat to this country is right now. Let's not play games about that. If you wanted to fix the border... You had a lot of different presidents that could have fixed the border, including Donald Trump. And, and Donald Trump had the same number of years President Biden had, the same number of years uh, Barack. Well, no, he didn't get two terms. But listen, he had a chance to do it and he didn't do it. The reason Donald Trump didn't do anything about it is because he himself is benefiting, right, from those who are coming across the border. All right. Just look, ask yourself, do you think he's paying full price for the people that work for him? He's not. They want the border open, so let's not go there. But the real threat, the real threat to the United States of America, MAGA, is you. And we see that. You can throw as many words, you can throw as many words at us as you want. You can hold as many lives on TikTok as you want and, and, and talk about all these other things. But I want you to know one thing. I'm not buying what you're selling, and I'm laser focused on your behind. You hear what I'm saying? All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's open up these boxes and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth. All right. It's like my grandmother says, right? Tell the truth. And what? Shame the devil. And I know and I know for the most part, these folks don't like me because I tell the truth. But, you know, it's like I've been saying. Right. And, 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 and many of you know this, especially my good friend, Heaven. Uh, I'd rather tell the truth and be realer than you than to be sitting in a jail cell for Donald Trump any day of the week. Because, listen, I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to be a fool for Donald Trump like you. I'm not going to do what this guy is doing. Uh, cause a lot of pain and destruction to his own community and then run. Run and hide in the woods or whatever he's doing right now like an animal. Only an animal would do what this guy did. And he's doing, he's living up to it. Hiding. Hiding after he did such a coward act. That's what I think of MAGA. A bunch of cowards for the most part. Afraid to be held accountable. Like Donald Trump. Donald, you're so big and bad. You broke the law as president. Face it. Be a man. Stop wasting the taxpayer's money. On your criminal defense. Own it. Yeah. I had those national secrets. And what are you going to do about it? Say it, Donald. I know you won't. Yeah, I touched those women inappropriately. What are you going to do about it? Donald, why don't you just man up and do it? Yeah. I support Vladimir Putin. Donald, why don't you just say, yeah, I cheated on my wife with a porn star. Why don't you say it, Donald? Since you're such a big, tough man. And I know why. It's because you can't because you're a coward. And anybody who follows Donald Trump is a coward too. All right. And I do mean that. All right. <laughs> they don't like me because I tell the truth. I'm telling you folks. All right. Let's get to these boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. What is going on with my app? Oh, my. God. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Why can't I hit the uh, guest button? Hmm. Huh. This is so strange. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh. What's going on over here? All right. Good morning, uh, Diva. How are you doing this morning? Happy Friday. Hey, to you. hey how are you doing? 
good. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday. Welcome to the show. Oh my. Yeah. Well, I have um a unique I don't like to say a unique perspective, but um the uh Robert Card mm-hmm. is uh, most of my family, my extended family, cousins, everybody are all from Maine because that's where my parents were born and raised. Right. And they are um, friends with Mr. Card. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. And, yeah. And um, actually, CNN called my dad yesterday because my dad had made a comment on on uh, Robert Card's um, Facebook page a while back. It was like a fishing picture or something, and my dad had made a comment. So apparently they were going through all of the people that had made comments on any of his pictures on Facebook trying to get information. So they called my dad yesterday. <laughs> wow. And that's um, wild. Yeah. And my dad didn't actually know him. My dad was like, knew his parents. It did. Wow. My dad didn't really know him, but they, he was friends with him on Facebook. I mean, that's still close. Oh yeah. Well, my, my cousin lives a mile from him. They're, they're friends. And, my friends are actually scared. I mean, my cousins are scared because they know him. Mm. They're not sure what. Wow. You know, if he felt comfortable, like trying to, you know, run to their house or something and they have kids and they're like, no, I, we don't want them to come in here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. So, wow. But yeah, so, but I know. What is your father um, said about this? I'm just well, curious. Uh, we, I went over there yesterday. And um, for a different reason, my, my dad came home while I was there because, you know, my parents are all MAGA, too. So I have very oh, limited. Right. Yeah, I have very limited contact um, just on an as needed basis. <laughs> right, right. And um, we were chatting and I was talking and I, I was talking to my mom when he walked in. And I said, you know, no one needs an AR-15. Like nobody needs an AR-15. And she says, well, I agree with you. And I said, well, that's all that the Democrats have been trying to do is just have the one, that one single piece of equipment taken, taken off the away. street. Yeah. And she says, no, 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 no. They are, they're trying to come for all the guns. And I said, no, that's just what they're screaming at you from Fox News. But that's not the truth. I said, you can't you can't show me one bill right. that has where they're coming for everybody's guns. And so my dad walked in, in the middle of the conversation and he's like, he goes, no, 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 you can't, you can't take away our, our rights. No, they don't own any weapons, but they're not people like that. But yeah. I, I said, dad, no one's coming for your rights. And I said, or for your, uh, for your rights. I said, um, however, they have come for mine and I no longer have rights over my own body. Bingo. And what did goes, your dad say to that? He looked at me and he got really angry and he goes, they're coming for our rights. And he does walked your dad, in, does he walk he walked a lot of this Fox News? And that was it. <laughs> wow. You see what I'm talking about? He's right. Your dad, I, I mean, Diva, I mean, I hate to say it. Oh, All he's right. completely brainwashed. I'm talking 100% drank the Kool-Aid, chugging it down, IV dripping it, freebasing it, all of it. Like he's oh, freebasing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that is, to me, so bizarre that a grown adult, especially the men, I, I speak, because, you know, you don't really hear about women doing a lot of this stuff that we see happening, these terrorist acts, right? It's mainly the white guys, right? Yeah. I mean, women, so we've, had our rights, we've had our rights. We've had our rights taken away. We we have we go through SA from men. We mm. have all we have to go through a lot of D V. Um, all of those kind of things. And you still don't see us picking up arms. No. That's the thing. That's the that's the thing. It's like what is going on in these guys head to make them go beyond where even the folks like your you know your that are women who do support trump they don't even go this far so what's um, the difference uh, i i think it's their their ego their macho like they're trying to prove their you know their, their i'm still i'm still a man you know kind mm. of thing and i i think that they're threatened by the world changing they're threatened that they're no longer going to be the majority and that they're mm. not going to be special any longer because they're not going to be in charge any longer. They're not going to be on top of the food chain, so to speak, any longer. Mm. And by the end of the conversation, my dad stormed off into his room, slammed the door, and he never came back out. But 
I continue. I mean, that's childish. That sounds childish. I mean, to me, it does. I mean, I don't know your father from, you know, anyone, but just that kind of behavior to me seems very immature. Extremely. And and, and going through my own therapy that I've been going through and deconstructing and and all of that, um, I have learned that uh, my parents are emotionally immature, but they're boomers. They didn't, you know, our emotional needs weren't met, but now they want their emotional needs met. Right. And don't understand why we're just kind of like, yeah, no dog. Yeah. But, um, but I finished the conversation with my mom and I said, I told her, I said, just, you know, all the, all we want is background checks, red flag laws. And we don't think that civilians, just everyday people should have access to AR 15s, the military police officers, no problem. And the people that need them, no problem, but not every single person in society should have the ability to get one and just walk in. And she goes, well, that, I 100% agree with you. So so your mom is, is is reasonable in the MAGA demon that she's living with. I mean, you know, you said they're both Trump supporters, but I really think he's bringing her along. I, I believe that, too, because when we've had abortion talks, I've because when I had an abortion talk with her, I know my time is up, but I think this is really important since there's a lot of MAGA in here. Um, and, but I'm not co-opting your, <laughs> your space. Um, but we were having she's like, Diana. She says, they, 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 you can have an abortion up to like three months after, you know, after you get birth. And I'm like, she goes right up to the moment of birth and even after birth. And I, I just stopped and I said, mom, I said, do you hear yourself? Did you hear what you just said? Like, did you hear what you just said? She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you said after their, after birth. Right. I said, there's a term for that. It's called infanticide. And that's already illegal. Yeah. Uh, and no one goes up to the moment of birth, they walk in, they're, ha- they're in labor pains, and they're like, all right, I changed my mind. It's, yeah. it's, just, it's just not a thing. And she goes, well, I guess you, you, you have a point there. And so once I got the talking points and the stuff that she's heard through the TV screen coming at her mm. and got down to just, do you hear what you're saying? Like, you can't possibly believe that. And by the end of the conversation, she's like, well, yeah, I, I, I guess, I guess you have a point. I guess you're right. You know, it's yeah. all right. I understand. And, you know, so she's the only reasonable one I can talk to. Um, wow. But well, that, that makes sense. And, you know, I, I, I thank you for sharing that story because it just helps reinforce what the real issue is. The MAGA men. It is the MAGA man because I think that I could, if it weren't for my dad, I think I could probably sway her over more to our side because I think she's not as right as she thinks. But she, they are evangelical, and my dad is, quote, unquote, the head of the family. And There you go. There you go, right there. Well, yep. Listen, Diva, I, yep. I, I appreciate our conversation. And, you know, we, you and I, we could talk forever. We could. Now, let other people have a chance. I wanted to come up, though, because, you know, it's um, – it is it's what's, close going to you. A, what's going on in Maine. It, all, my family are all been locked down for days and they're all in that exact area. Like, wow. Right. Just wow. Wow. So anyway, um, thank you, Zeus. Uh, You're welcome. Much love to you. And I will talk to you again. All right. All right. Uh, lady, let's, let's ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Diva talks and, and prayers go out to you and your family. All right, Diva. Thank That's, you. Uh, I couldn't imagine being on lockdown like that. All right, let's give her a round of applause. I, I, I could not imagine being on lockdown because of this MAGA demon on the loose. This guy's in the woods, they say. He took a jet ski and he's living in the woods like an animal. He's, he must have stashed up on all kinds of canned goods and water and be- This was planned. And this is why I'm talking to the mainly the MAGA men out there. We see you for what you are. We really do. You can get in here and start trying to fast talk Zeus and, and all this other stuff. I'm not buying it. Not one second. I'm not buying it. All right. Um, good morning. Uh, rock with me. How are you? I'm doing great. Good morning. I'm fanning out. I've been watching your show for so long, so I'm excited that you oh. that you got oh. me on. Oh well, welcome, welcome. Thank you. A pleasure to have you. Yeah. It's a pleasure. So I All right. come on and offer a new um, acronym for MAGA. Mm. Um, how about maniacs assaulting good Americans? Hey! <laughs> 
Absolutely. That's a good way to put it. I, I thought like so, it. too. I thought it was a good one. But I wanted to come on here and just kind of address the whole kind of gun control thing. And you always hear, you know, MAGA and, you know, the new Speaker of the House. Well, it's, you know, it's the people and it's not the gun. So let's let's for the sake of arguing say yes right people that are mentally ill or unstable mm -hmm. commit these acts but if you give them access to a mass uh, a, a, a destructive weapon that can do what an assault rifle does then those two combinations are not a good thing mm. you know so at the end of the yeah. day i just feel like it's um it's kind of a ridiculous argument to say it's yeah. the person and not the gun. How about we give nobody except the military and the police access to those guns? Yeah. And we would avoid um, these kind of incidents. Mm -hmm. I, I, I completely agree because the trust has been broken. Yeah. You know, once trust is broken, it's over. Yeah. And, and if, from the way I see it, I, do, I don't trust these MAGA men with the guns. Yeah, absolutely. They're in every area of our society. All right. And the situation with this gentleman, I believe they said he had it legally. He was even he was even qualified to teach people. Yeah, he was a gun instructor. Apparently. Yeah. 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 That means that means pretty much this shouldn't have happened. Absolutely. He's a person that's training and teaching other people about gun safety. And here he is committing a mass shooting. And then lastly, I've been typing this in the chat because, you know, all this, we got to protect our borders. And listen, I'm not saying, you know, I'm a Democrat, but, you know, I'm not somebody that says, you know, just open the borders and let everybody in. But there should be a good system. But I, want, I challenge somebody in the chat who's MAGA to name a Mexican immigrant mass shooter. And I'll Thank wait. Thank you. I'll wait. I love that little tweet that you put up in the background. Wasn't a drag queen that indoctrinated this guy. It wasn't um, uh, a trans person, right? No. It wasn't a Mexican immigrant. It no cartel. No cartel. Exactly. None of that stuff. Yep. Wasn't somebody who was woke. <laughs> or somebody that was woke exactly that's, yeah. not, that's another one of their uh their favorite words woke. yeah oh yeah. my god well zeus thank you so much for everything that you do i watch your show every single morning and oh, wow. i think uh i think you're a great host so keep thank it going you. all right well thank you all right and rock with me I appreciate you, all right? Let me make sure I'm following you if I'm not, all right? Because awesome. you know I got to keep it in the family. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Rock with one. me. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give her a round. Uh-oh. Let's give her a round of applause. No lies. Take it. It's not that hard to get in the box and tell the truth. Now, listen up, ladies and gentlemen. I, I see there's some dissension in the comment section, all right? I see some folks out there. Uh, they, they're going, Zeus, you're, you're, you're being too mean. You're talking too much about MAGA. Well, listen up, MAGA. You know how they, you know what I've been saying. If you don't like this level of truth, thank you, Nina. If you do not like this level of truth, guess what you can do? Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. That's right, MAGA. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. All right. And I do mean that. All right. Good morning, uh, Sister Takesha. Greetings, Poker Dad. I see you. Hey, Zeus. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> happy Friday. Hold on. I got to go down and come back up. Okay, okay, okay. All right, she got to go down and then come back up. I think that means she got to drop and then come back up. All right, all right. All right, yeah, so listen up. Uh, what we do over here is very simple. We're not going to sit back and conservative. Uh, I, I saw that you said, wow, Zeus. Um, I, know what the, I know that the things that I'm, sh I'm saying conservative and to all of you Trump supporters, thank you, Rick. I know that the things that I'm saying and some of the panelists are saying, it shocks you. But I want you to understand, it's not a bad thing that it shocks you. It's actually a good thing. That means we're getting through to you. 
and and we're giving you another chance to come to the light all right because where you've been at it's been real dark no light has gotten through but then when that light hits you're going ah yeah that's a good thing keep on following the light all right and i mean that i i really do mean that all right no 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 i cannot battle uh, athena i cannot battle decline i'm so sorry i can't battle all right takisha is back ladies and gentlemen good morning takisha welcome Welcome to Keisha. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Listen, I'm good today. I'm going to be good today. Okay. Okay. People, people don't see a problem when it's not their problem. Right. If, and God forbid this happens, but if some of the senators and, and Congress people, children were involved in a mass shooting. Yeah. And, and some of them were unalive, like I said, God forbid it happens, then they'll be calling for more gun control. But mm -hmm. when it doesn't affect them, and they can set thoughts and prayers all they want to, they've been thinking and praying for so many years, that's probably why nothing happened, because them prayers don't get no hand in the ceiling that they pray under. Right. So that they that until it happens to them, they honestly, they don't care. Because they say thoughts and prayers and they go right back to doing the same hateful things they were doing right before the thoughts and prayers. Mm -hmm. The terrorists are homegrown. Uh, stop talking about the border when something happens. These terrorists are American homegrown. That man ain't had no business teaching nothing if they claim he's mentally ill. Bingo. How is a mentally ill person going to be teaching a class on how to use a gun. It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. Zeus. There are thousands of mentally ill people who are not going around unaliving people. Like I told you yesterday, they're just pure evil. Mm. It has nothing to do with mental illness. They're just evil. Now on the topic of racism, it is wide and it is abroad. Mm -hmm. People fear what they know they can't stand up to. Mm. The, 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 the first thing they uh, were fearful of is when a black man learned how to read. Bingo. Because a black smart man with mm. an education and some knowledge is mm. a white man's worst nightmare. Oh. Because they're the white man is not as smart as people think they are. They, they swindle through on the backs of black people. Mm. They haven't created anything. They didn't work their fields. Mm. Their wives didn't want them, so they slept with the slaves. So we've been saving them for a long time, too. Mm. And that's their fear. We don't mm. want to be first. We just want to be accepted. As Amen. Equals. Because the Bible Amen. Is the last shall be first and the first shall be last. We ain't trying to take y'all spot because y'all going to be last regardless. Amen. So get over it. Hell <laughs> no lies detected. Now, I'm going to fix my grandbaby some breakfast. All right, all right. Well, listen, and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day because that's what I do. You know, I just enjoy my days. Zeus. It's and classic weekend here. You know, we got two college teams that are rivals. <laughs> Uh -oh. And they play it out uh, in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh -oh. And we just have a big week of celebrations. You know, we go to free concerts and everything. So we've just been celebrating in the state. Hey. I, and it, telling me, Ma, not to come near none of our parties. All right. <laughs> so we're going to have us a good time. All right. Well, I and, listen, have a good time with me and on me as well. All right. I'm all right, you. Zeus. Y'all be good, everybody. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Sister Dakeisha a round of applause. <laughs> no lies detected. Now, again, I, I, I'm seeing a lot of folks in the comments, and they're shocked by what we're saying. But I want you to understand this to the MAGA folks that are still here listening to this conversation. This is why I want you to sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast. This is stuff we've been saying. It's not new to us. This is new to you. So get the, get a chair and listen. Because this is what's going on in America. All right? What you've been thinking, what Sean Hannity and Donald Trump have been telling you, 
That ain't what's going on. What we talking about? This is what's going on. All right. And like I said the other day, and I, and, and I'll continue to say it. If you don't like what we saying, pack your bags and leave. And I really, really do mean that. All right. All right. Let's go. I miss Boss Diva. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh, good morning, man. handsome. All hey, right. How are you doing? I'm all right. All right. I'm looking and feeling good. <laughs> okay. yeah well i'm on that same flow and um oh. it's friday and feeling 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 like uh some more maga tears will be mm. overflowing mm. Um, and i just wanted to, i just wanted to say that i know i like it probably at the beginning of the week when first flipper was flipping mm -hmm. you know i said yeah it's gonna be a couple more a few more you know by the end of the week and I was mm -hmm. pretty much on on task with that prediction, right? You know? So, <laughs> next week is going to be even more fascinating. I am quite sure, uh, yeah. right? Because yeah. Ronnie Willis is not playing with these people. We are definitely going to get some justice. They were just talking about uh, in a in a group on on Facebook. They were just talking about how Ronnie Willis does not want to give any kind of plea deals to Trump or Meadows or, you know, any of those people who, in Rudy Giuliani, uh, yeah. that trio in particular, you know, give them no kind of slack because they need to be made an ultimate example of what you do when you F around and find out, right? Bingo, bingo. And so I'm really grateful for that. So shout out Fonnie Willis, you my queen, my hero, you know. Mm. Is her yeah. thing going to stick? No, there's no way around it. Mm. And, you know, that's what really traps. And that's why they say, nah, he ain't going to jail. He not going to jail. You know what I mean? Oh, he so that's, just, you know, that's just a, another aspect of their racism. Right. So that Trump, you know, he is the, you know, complexion that will be, you know, sheltered and, yeah. and all of that. You know what I mean? And protected and all of that. But no, she's going to make an example out of him. So that's my bingo. That's my next prediction. Yeah, my words. He, he's you know, going to jail. Yeah, yeah, he's going to jail. Yeah, yeah, he's going yeah. To he's absolutely going to jail. And as far as this, um, you know, racism topic in in particular, you know, it is it, so many different layers to that onion. You know, mm. and we definitely need to get down to the middle of it. In order Amen. to, you know, which is where the root grows from, right? You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. check out yeah. an onion. There's, you know, there's the little part on the bottom in which you can actually set that in some water <laughs> and allow it to make, you know, take seed and root, whatever. Amen. And before you know it, you'll have another onion. Yeah. See what huh. I'm saying? And yeah. That's, that's basically what racism is has been doing to us for so very long. And reparations come up and... It, no one wants to give us our props for, you know, in reparations. You know what I mean? Like, no right. one wants to pay the black community and the people of color community for all of the, you know, labors that have taken place, both transatlantic up up until this very day. Bingo. So it's just it's just crazy, man. This whole little thing. We have so many things, so many things to fight for and tackle and, you know, address and call out. It's just, you know. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to tell them, tell them, boss diva. No, <laughs> nobody them. wants to, you know, really have those hard conversations. And I like to them. say, Zeus, you know, where we are, we got a, we got an awesome governor who is actually trying to have that conversation. Amen. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yep. that therefore setting the precedent, the standard, you know, the blueprint, the whole nine. To getting that done, because that's very important to our people. And that's not only important to our people, but it's important to this nation that that is a form of, you know, an apology. You know what I'm saying? Amen. start, right? Yeah. Anyway, I heard my, my bells, you know what I mean? I don't like to nutty up the live or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's so funny when Nutty got a brand of doing just that. All right? That's hilarious to me. He wants to be known. He wants to be known for being handsome, but you know he's not. No, nah, see, for being yeah, handsome. he he not. No, you missed the mark on that one, Nutty. Yeah. I'm sorry, you know. What yeah. I'm saying? yeah. In this kingdom, it's it's Zeus, baby, Zeus, one hundred percent. But I love you, brother. You know what I'm All saying? Right. I always, you know, have much respect for you, and take care right. of these maggots like you do. I'll see you. Around. All right.
All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful Miss Boss Diva uh, a round of applause. All right, Empress. Yeah, so MAGA, uh, I, I really do hope you're, you're listening very, very closely. And, and I don't want you to just listen. I want you to do what I said earlier. I want you to be an active listener to what we're talking about, all right? Because when we talk to you and we call you what we see you as, which is racist, and, and we call you what we call you, which is terrorists, right? You, you, you'll you understand a lot more why, because uh, we see what you're doing, not what you're saying. We don't pay attention to what you're saying. No, we listen to what you're saying. We, we hear what you're saying, and we see what you're doing. And, and we're calling you, calling you out for it. All right. Good morning, uh, Stick the Ruler. How are you doing, my brother? Good morning, Zeus. Hey, uh, All right. it's, it's, I'm happy to be back in the kingdom. I'm definitely grateful that you didn't put me behind Mr. Struggles. Um, was <laughs> was in the live yesterday, Struggles Live. Um, end up having to leave for a second because I had to get my wits back and mm. and, 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 and my mind right. Mm, and uh, when I came good. back in, yeah, when I came back in, you were in the live. And I was just listening, man, because I, I love to listen. You yeah. know, you, you got two ears and one mouth. So, you know, and, uh, man, it's it's astonishing, man. And, and I was just sitting back and I'm looking at uh, Struggle's uh, name, how he mm. got the G-O-D. And mm. I'm thinking about what other G.O.D. person do I? Oh, Zeus! Mm -hmm. Another another uh, tight titan on 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 TikTok. Okay, correct, correct. Um, Strong titan. Democrats get those knee pads. Where did he get that from? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I mean, it's it's Guilty. it's it, the the biting, the copycatting, the. Mm. Just the pure uh, essence of you mm. is 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 not there. It's, it's just not. Um, yeah. I've said it time and time again. There is nothing in common with you guys. Um, mm. Maybe maybe other than where you guys, what hemisphere y'all live in, but other than that, you yeah, you guys have nothing in common. We like, man. Yeah, we light years apart. And uh, <clears throat> I just want him to understand that. Uh, the hateful rhetoric, he just doesn't see it. And uh, I wish he would just learn from people who actually do care about him versus people who are just yes men. Donald has mm. a lot of those, and a lot of them yeah. has turned into flipper. Huh. So, <clears throat> if, you don't want, if you don't want your mini-me's and uh, little minions turning into flippers, I suggest you straighten up your ways, <laughs> you know. And, I and, agree. And, and and Zeus, just please, please, whatever you do, keep doing what you do. Mm. Don't don't because oh, because man, I, I I I got powered up yesterday to the point of you know what? Let me let me leave. Mm, smart. Because he was trying to get you to throw away your your live right it, now. That's exactly. what they do. They want they 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 want they want you to go. Oh, I'm gonna be that. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about on yeah. TikTok, and I said, "Oh, you're not gonna get Zeus, not today." No, no, not today, <laughs> and and they won't get stick the ruler today either. They don't give it to him. <laughs> don't give him that. Yeah. Oh they no. I'm... Yeah. They, yeah. You know, I, I've known uh, I've known the Maga Demon for for a long time, and you got to do exactly what you saw happening in that good book, right? Mm-hmm. You got to show restraint. Definitely, definitely. You definitely got to show restraint. So, again, um, if you want to talk about uh, massive pew pewing, talk about mm -hmm. it. But do not turn massive pew pewing into we got to control the border because Bingo. this type of stuff is coming from the border. No, this guy was already here and he was closer to Canada than he was Texas. Mm. So, so. Tell him, tell him. Well, listen, my brother, I appreciate you, all right? Hey, you I heard my great, bell. I appreciate yeah, you. you. Great, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Stick the Ruler a round of applause. 
he did, you know, uh, I, and I got to make sure we, I, I say this to all of my fellow uh, Democrats, but, you know, anybody out here on this app. What people want to do is they want to catch you acting outside of your character. All right. And, and I'm fully trained in how to do this with the MAGA demon, right? When I'm, when I'm engaging with it and we're having dialogue, I'm going to push it all the way to the point where I'm like, now, show me what's really going on. And that's what I got yesterday when I was talking to one, right? I was talking to the MAGA demon and, we, you know, went back into a corner. It showed its head and it showed everybody just how racist and bigoted and nasty and deranged it is. I don't got to tell you that this individual is that way you can figure that out you can figure that out all on your own by listening to them now i'm not going to say they're not going to have people that openly support them there's a lot of people that support that stuff it's really up to you to decide uh how you're going to deal with it right you know someone wise once told me this they said it's not what happens to you this is before i became zeus right they said it's not what happens to you it's how you respond to it Right. And so I chose to do, do what I'm doing today. I said, well, you know, I'm going to have a live and I'm going to make sure in the live, in the show, I openly talk about racism. All right. And thank you to all of my panelists yesterday that helped me to have that conversation. You know who you are. Oh, my God. Good morning, uh, Nutty. How are you doing, bro? <laughs> Welcome, Nutty. What's going on? So, hey, very quickly, uh, this message is for uh, Miss Boss Diva. In the words of our mutual friend, Takesha, in the words of our friend, Miss Takesha, I'm about sick of you. <laughs> I'm about sick of you. <laughs> so what's good? How's, how's everybody today? So I, I'm going to speak fast because I'm not going to be accused of nuttying up the lie. So, <laughs> so, so keep my name out your mouth. Oh, so no, you coming in with a lot of a lot of nasty on you. Listen, on. listen, listen, listen. So Maine, Maine is is literally the population the size of metropolitan Kansas City. Wow. 1.3 million is the population of Maine. I'm not surprised that Diva has, because there's a one degree of separation there when, it, when it's only 1.3 million. True. There's one degree of separation. True. Uh, we have another mutual that lives in Maine. So when, you know, Maine's not a, you know, with 1.3 million population in the entire state, you know, and I think Ange is there in Maine as well. So, yeah. listen, um, there's a lot of stuff going around on TikTok back and forth about Maine's red flag laws. Maine does not have red flag laws. They mm. have yellow flag laws. Maine is an open carry state. Oh. Maine, Maine is a democratic state. And this is where, this is where I will accept hearing the talking point both sides. Mm. Because with Maine being a democratic state, and you have Congressman Jared Golden, who has been adamantly against uh, gun safety. Mm -hmm. Now he wants to get his, okay, I'm gonna the, be nice. The apology. Now he wants to get his butt on television and say, oh, I've had a change of heart. And I think it was Takesha that said that. You have a change of heart when it's at your doorstep now? You lack that much empathy mm. for others that have gone through this atrocity. Amen. But now that it's on your doorstep, you've had a change of heart? The devil is a lie. We don't care about your change of heart, Mr. Golden. And yeah, he's a Democrat. See, Republicans, see how this works? We do attack our own. We mm. do call out the BS on our own. Amen. And so for the good people of Maine, for the good people of Maine, vote him out. Vote him out. Yeah, yeah. Because the only sane person that I've heard in Maine that have spoken about this is your governor. Damn. Your governor has, I'm like, man, I, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I want her as my governor. So that was the quickest three minutes. I swear you're cheating my time. So no, I'm not no, going to no, be accused. Going. No, no, keep on nutting. No, 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 no. Because you see, I get accused of nuttying up the lie. <laughs> no, 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 live up, 
Live up to your name. All right. Hey, hey, hey. You ain't got to tell me twice. So, no, yeah. No. So, anyway. So, yeah. you vote that man out. Main, main, like misery, mm. doesn't have any red flag laws. Mm. It's an open carry state. You don't need a permit un unless you're unless you're not 21. 18 to 21, you got to have a permit in Maine. But after mm. 21, you don't have to have a permit. Mm. How is that good in any society? But yet you want to talk about your Second Amendment rights. Nobody is trying to take away your Second Amendment right, even though that's an archaic amendment to this Constitution. It's archaic. And it mm. needs to go away. I Tell said him. it. I said it. I said it. Tell him. It needs to go away. So if you all yeah. want to have that conversation on the origins and the history of the Second Amendment, let's have it. Because that's fair. But we're living under a, an amendment that's controlling our society that was written 300 years ago. How does that make sense, y'all? It doesn't. And the trust has been broken as far as I'm concerned. Like I said, I don't think the trust is there anymore. I don't trust MAGA men with these guns. You know, you know, Zeus, you, you, you've been putting in a lot of work lately. Well, not lately, but you've been putting in extra work lately. Mm. Last night, last night, we thought we had a breakthrough with, with the one gentleman. It was, you know, it proved all to be a waste of time because I think before I left, I even said, I even said, I hope, I said, I've been listening for over an hour and mm. I hope what has been said, I hope that has planted a seed. He said, oh, it has, it has. And then I dropped out to put my kid to bed and I came back, he was in another live. He, what he was saying, I was like, wow, I was right. He learned mm. nothing. Mm. Mm. He learned that absolutely that Listen, that MAGA demon is something else, right? It do a lot of tricks, don't it? You always got to keep your eye out on it. So, but anyway, right. uh, yeah, keep keep doing what you do. You know, we can't be held responsible when we give them the it's information. Nutty up. Miss it, Boss Diva says the live has been nuttied up. You know what? Get out of here. <laughs> when we give them the information, it's, it's like that horse analogy. You can lead a horse to water, right. but you can't make them drink. That's unfortunate in this case because we need to make them eat, but we can't make grown adults do something. They have Amen. to have a willing heart in Amen. order to be a better person. And as yeah. long as they're out there simping for Donald, simping for an orange orangutan, and I'm sorry to the orangutan uh, animal, species Jesus of monkey, Christ. I'm sorry to them because they didn't deserve that. <laughs> but... Uh, until they have a willing heart to change, there's nothing we can do. We, we just got to keep telling the truth. Fair enough. Have a great All day, right, Nutty. Have Ladies a great and day. gentlemen, let's give Nutty uh, a round of applause. And I still not look only better you. He, uh, listen, never mind. You don't get a round of applause. He's right. He's a Democrat. I know. He's right. He's right. We attack our own sometimes, and Nutty is a prime candidate to be attacked. He nuttied up the live and then he attacked Zeus. Nutty, you need to really get down on your knees and repent, bro. You really do. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. All right, let's bring up our next uh, panelist. Oh, my gosh. All right, good morning, Dark and All right, how are you doing in the state of Maine? How are you doing? I am doing okay. Are you still on lockdown? We, we are Love locked down. We... Lewiston is, um, they are still uh, shelter in place. We are in lockdown, wow. schools are closed, businesses are closed, because we are an wow. hour away. I actually came wow. up, Nutty uh, covered a lot of what I wanted to say. Um, Representative Jared Golden is a tool. He votes a lot with the Republicans. Mm. And now all of a sudden he has his change of heart because it was in his backyard. So Nutty did his homework. This guy, I cannot hmm. stand him. He has huh. not done anything for the state of Maine. I don't know. He's not my representative, thank God. He would not be here right. if, if he were. Um, he is the Joe Manchin of Maine. That is hmm. what he is. I cannot oh. stand this guy. 
in the press conference yesterday, you know what he talked about first? His hair. What's that? His hair. Oh, sorry about my appearance. I haven't had a haircut. What in the actual F? We got 18 people that wow. are not with us anymore. And that's what you're talking about. So first of all, now I'm done with that. Second yeah. of all, I had a live last night. And I don't know how many white conservative men coming up there speaking over me on a topic mm. that they know nothing about. How come they haven't found him? What's wrong with your state? How come they haven't found him? We'll come up here and, and check this state out because this man's family owns over a hundred acres of land. What? Yes. And he has access, he has a boat. There are lakes all around here. So they just don't know anything about it. And Bushmaster, you were one of them. You will never be up on my panel again, yelling and screaming over me. He, mm. Oh, anyway, I'll stop with that. That MAGA demon in oh, these guys. Oh, it's strong you. in him, in the old Bushmaster. It's strong in him. He ain't ever coming mm. up on my panel. But every single white man that came up in my panel was yelling over me. And mm. I live around a bunch of these MAGA demons driving their big old trucks, some of them even with Confederate flags on them. I live around these people. Wow. A lot of MAGA demons. And yes, this is a blue state. And thank you, Nutty, for bringing up my governor because she is amazing. And you know mm. what? Her name wasn't even out there until now. We always talk about DeSantis and Abbott and their pieces of crap. But let's mm -hmm. talk about the good ones, too. Because thank Janet you. Mills is amazing. And I will end on this. Thank you, Anne. Our you are amazing. Joseph R. Biden. He was calling our governor by 11 o'clock that evening. President what? Biden was calling our governor, Merrick Garland. They were all calling and in support of our state. Thank God. Thank you, thank you, President Biden. We appreciate you, and we appreciate you, Zeus. And that's all I got. I'm going to get right. out of here before I hear my bell. <laughs> All right. Listen, you came in and delivered spot on. Thank you. Dark Happy Anne. Friday, everyone. Uh oh. Uh oh. You made it. No, it okay. Yet? I'm out. No. All right, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. Let's give it up to the beautiful Dark Hand, right? No lies detected. It's not that hard to get in the box and tell the truth. It's like my grandmother always says tell the truth and shame the devil. All right. Listen, you are all amazing. All right. This is what it's about, ladies and gentlemen, getting the truth out and making sure uh, we are all heard. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring up our next panelist. Good morning, the beautiful. Well, hello, Zeus. How are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Aww. I yeah. had a little low energy this morning. I know it's been rough. Um, oh. Well, I could just feel your 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 exhaustion of dealing with the BS, if that makes Maybe. sense. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I can we feel it in you. We must continue on. Yeah. We must I mean, continue. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and and you hit it out of the park as usual. And, you know, it, it is, it's preposterous what the rhetoric is about the Southern border. And, and like, you know, I, I enjoyed your live last night. But, yeah, uh, thank you for uh, also doing what you did in your part. I mean, that was spectacular. Not just you, but all the panelists that yeah. came up and spoke on the issue, the real issue. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it, you know, and I, Nutty, I agree with you, my friend. I mean, I, I, I don't think we made any difference with that guy. He's just, whoo, he's the epitome of that, you know, just thinks that he just doesn't like the world changing around him. Doesn't like it at all. Doesn't like mm. Just doesn't like it. Just has mm. to view it in such a, you know, lens of, well, you know, that's ridiculous Angel. and the judgments and the white privilege and the this and the that. And it just, uh, God, I have so many relatives like him. It's it's insane. And so, yeah, it's yeah. going to be very patient with a lot of people. I think a lot of people on the left think, I don't understand how she can be so, you know, patient and forgiving. I was like, listen, because I live around them, you know, and. You know, I can either decide to have some patience and, and it's also the educator in me, right? When you're a yeah. teacher, you, you love all your students and you realize they're only going to get from here to here 
And and there's not a lot you can do about it. And beating them up and yelling at them is not gonna you know make them learn. Don't any throw, faster, don't so. don't throw you don't throw what you know. I was saying this. We don't throw yeah. away our platforms for the mega demons. We don't. And and I, and I always keep in mind who we're talking to. Like you and I, you know, we're talking, but I'm also aware there's an audience that we're talking to, right? Yeah. And, and when you keep that in mind, to me, I processed the live, not just like you were talking to him. I really did process it like you were also speaking to others who could oh, be absolutely. struggling with that same thought process that he has, right? That's why sometimes having these conversations is is really the work that needs to be done, right? Yeah, it, it really is. And we do have to keep pushing and we do have to keep trying to educate as, as much as it, I just feel like, you know, with this new speaker of the house and... You know, my husband is trying to ask me about it. I honestly can't wrap my head around it right now. And I'm trying not to live in fear. And I'm trying not to think this is, you know, this is really a bad thing. He may surprise us much like some of the Supreme Court justices did surprise us. I'm not making statements yeah. that we thought that they would. So, uh, you know, I do hope that his Christian values drive him more as far as like not really uh, making terrible decisions that are going to affect too many people's lives. But Listen, it is what it is, but this is a right. lesson we have to learn. You can't sit out on, on elections, people. You don't can't, do you it. can't sit here and go, well, I just don't like that person's rhetoric, or I just don't like their stance on this, and I don't just like you know, their stance on that. And, you know, and just like I was telling, you know, Paul last night, it's like the reason Zeus drives his point on his platform, as uncomfortable as it makes you feel, is because you got to read Project 2025. You have to understand that Donald Trump is not about him being a Republican or conservative, because he's neither. Um, it's about the danger of that group. Thank you. Absolutely being willing to take away all rights to stay in power. They don't care. They're, they want to tear it all down. You watched it happen, picking out McCarthy. It just, they're willing to tear the entire system down. Listen to what Matt Gates says. Listen to what they're saying. Listen to what they're driving home. Mm. And I posted on, you know, this platform, a picture of the theocracy, the Ayatollah of Iran and the group of people behind him in prayer and the MAGA people, the, the, the group that is now leading the House of Representatives and they're all in prayer. And you tell me what the difference is. Mm. What's the difference? What's the difference? These people, if they had their, their way about it, we would be a theocracy. Not a republic. Not a democracy. Not anything Amen. you think. It's absolutely no different. None. No lies. To take it is shit. the American Taliban. I love that, Steve Curry. You're 100 percent correct, <laughs> Thank my you, friend. Boss yeah. And, and and that's the thing. And no, and I am not one of those people like, oh, you know, the the world is ending in doomsday. When I say what I'm saying, I say it from a historical lens. I see the writing on the wall. This has been something that the Republican Party has been trying to do for 40 years. This has not come about since Donald Trump. Stop thinking that, oh, you blame Trump on everything. No, Trump was the catalyst. Amen. Trump was the fool that they put in place to drive this. He Bingo. He didn't care if he messed up anything. He didn't care what policy he messed up. They got him in that office to do exactly what he did. Mm. And they want to keep him there because he's a monkey for him. And they, you know, we're a little tiny oh. monkey. I'm going to run you around. You're going to do this. Oh, but if you could just keep your mouth closed, Trump. Well, he's not going to keep his mouth closed. Right? Mm. You know? Yeah. Uh, they're no lies detected. He controlled, but, you know. No, yeah. no lies detected. He's a monkey. <laughs> he's a I like monkey, that one. I'm telling you. Oh, I mean, he's throwing fits all over the place. It's hysterical. Uh, yeah. He just stormed out of the court yesterday. That was funny. <laughs> well listen uh Shane, I know, I'll well, let I, you go my friend but anyway all right and have a great yes. rest of your day again as always <laughs> absolutely I appreciate all, all right, right guys everybody have a fantastic day happy friday everybody and have a wonderful weekend and conservative right. democrat go away i swear to god you, i see you get up in people's platforms and they really think they oh 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 what's a conservative democrat they don't know who you are Nothing but a troll, dude. Nothing but a troll. Oh, is that what he is? Oh, gosh, yes. 
Oh yeah, he comes up like he can have an extra cut plate, it out. but he's in the, he's in the comments like a maga dude. Like he comes in, he comes in because he deep down in, inside him and Snuggles and all these other ones they crave this truth. They do, they do. They, they crave it. They they can't. It's like flies flies to honey, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Flies to the fly trap. They just right attack themselves. <laughs> All right. All right, my friend. All right. Bye, everybody. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's Thank give, let's give the beautiful Shay a, a round of applause. <laughs> All right, listen. You know, you're right, Shay. Uh, Donald Trump is engaged in a lot of monkey business, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was stolen. I get it. I get it. I get it. It was stolen, right? Yeah, right, Donald Trump. Yeah, right. <laughs> Attacking good. Uh, good morning, my brother. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Do you know when Sticks was up and he said that uh, you know Snuggle stole your saying? <laughs> yes. Well, you... which thing did he steal? Perhaps that's the question. Uh, Democrats get your knee pads ready. Right oh now. yeah. Well, you know what I, what I just realized? What's that? You know how white people steal black people's inventions? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they steal the things away from the black community like it's their own. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speak on well, it. Well, Snuggle st- steals your stuff, and he stole uh, the Rock's eyebrow. Oh, Snuggles is a thief. Oh, just like a lot of white people who oh. steal from the black community. Oh, I mean, my he's God. literally trying to steal it right out of my yeah, right underneath my yeah. my face. He's trying. He's already. Well, not trying. He's already done it. He's doing it. And God. now, now the thing is this. <laughs> Me being in your box, if I mm-hmm. said if I said something horrible about the black community, would you correct me? Absolutely. Do you know that Snuggles had a friend up in his bo- broadcast yesterday? And you know how you were talking about slavery and all this stuff? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that his friend made a joke? Really? Yeah, his friend made a joke. They were talking about because they were talking about slavery and racism, and he goes, his uh, Snuggles' friend goes, you know. I don't know why they're upset at us. Mm. Uh, we didn't sell them. Oh. We just bought them. We just oh. bought them. Yeah. We, we just bought you. Oh. Oh, we did. Yeah, you see what that magazine And you know what does? you know what Snuggles did? What'd he do? Agreed. Hmm. He didn't he didn't he didn't say what, this you're saying this was what Mr. Unity did? Yeah, Mr. Unity. He he didn't he didn't say hey dude that's don't say that that's not right he didn't he didn't critique him he didn't he didn't say anything he didn't say that's that's a bad thing to say and you know how I know this what's that I mean person personally though I'm never surprised by the conduct of a maga demon yeah, please it's, it's not my broadcast it's on my bio anybody mm. anybody want to hear the voice you can hear it's it. on your bio so he has the video it's on, multiple, footage. It's on multiple pages of mine you know i i, I kind of spread it around everything on, on this account is it on this account? it might be it might be on two two and three it might be okay so uh but the thing is this um good morning this is horrible mm. and also QAnon. they're saying that the un is at the border uh uh addressing uh, addressing uh hezbollah at the border mm at the border right now the southern border and he says oh yeah i know about that have you heard about the u.n addressing hezbollah at our border no neither have i but you know who's who's pushing it who mike lindell's tv show and some other some other <sighs> bullshit, bullshit. These, folks, these these folks yeah these folks they go they, they they're so brilliant they go so far to find these lies don't yeah, they yeah yeah that this is this is that's, that's, on my bios on my pages guys so Jesus just check Christ. them out go to two three or four i forget <laughs> but anyway Christ. hey i want to thank you very much and you know we should leave nutty alone leave nutty alone <laughs> oh yeah. no 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 until he comes clean we can't well you know i put in there nutty equals kirby and of course kirby vacuum he called me swiffer the other day so oh, okay <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks. All right. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give uh, Brother Attacking a round. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, listen. All right. Let me see who we got next. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. But we got to wrap up the show. Listen, Rio, are you still there? Rio, are you still there? Ladies and gentlemen, 
Uh, I've been trying to get to, we got to celebrate a birthday today. You know what we do, all right? It's time to celebrate a birthday before we get up out of here. But before we do, I just want to thank each and every single one of you for tuning in to this show. If I didn't get to you in the comments or in the box, I, I'm terribly sorry, but I do have to go tend to affairs in the kingdom. All right, so many of you know that what we do on this side of TikTok is we do celebrate the birthdays of our families and friends that are regulars to this broadcast all right and rio has been with us for been with been with the family for quite a, a while rio would you please send a guest request though rio doesn't really get in the box much uh rio has been doing a, a lot of work to help keep this kingdom safe and maintaining order out here in olympus so we want to send her a happy birthday so you know what we do get those Thank gifts you. ready all right and maga you too and don't say you don't got the money maga because you've been sending it to donald trump all right good morning rio how are you morning all right can you hear me yes so your birthday was uh i know we're late i know we're late and, and i do apologize but it's been a crazy you guys week. are fine you guys all right. are fine all right uh now now uh want to tell us a little something about your birthday and what you did before we hit uh play on this song and sing happy birthday uh, I really didn't do too much for my oh. birthday. I just had a birthday breakfast yesterday with my oh. sister in laws. Okay, okay. Well, listen, if nothing goes great with a birthday breakfast, all right, like a good old happy birthday, the old fashioned way from Zeus and his friends. So, are you ready? Sure. I don't know how to turn my camera on. So, like I said, this is the first time I've gone live. So, okay. You don't, if you don't want it, if you can't turn it on, don't worry. I'll We're going to sing happy later. birthday. All right, we're going to sing happy birthday, uh, the kingdom way. Thank you. Somebody birthday. Hey! I heard it was somebody birthday. Yeah. PJ Penn, a birthday song. Yeah. Let's go! everyone welcome. has been fantastic you know uh getting to know y'all i know i've never been on yet <laughs> i'll figure it out yeah. and i'll get to meet everyone you've been here for a long time <laughs> yes i have yes i and have I thank you for doing that and helping to bring people in the way you do it really does mean a lot to me real all right 
from the bottom of my heart to the top. It really does. All right. And you and you be safe out there uh, with your family and friends this birthday weekend. And don't party too hard. All right. Oh, I won't. <laughs> all right. Thank you so very much. All Thank right. All right. Yes. Thank you. Let's give Rio one last round of applause and happy birthday. All right. Let's <laughs> You have to boot me because I don't know how to do that either yet. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry, all right. Well, listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, That concludes uh, this broadcast and this week's programming. And I do hope we all have learned a lot this week because, you know, that's what this is really about. As much as it's entertaining, it's also informal and educational, and it's meant to do something. It's It's meant to get you on the right side of history, all right? And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Uh, I'm out of here, all right? Take care, have a great rest of your morning, and I will see you all Monday. Same Zeus time, same Zeus channel. Zeus always falls heads in the kingdom. And I really am the most angry. Now you there's nothing you can do about it, champ. Hey! This is how I move when I'm walking like Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. This is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus. I like to Thank you. When I'm living like Rick. Zeus. So be kind right, you when I'm living like Zeus. Lifting. Looking at you cool till I pull up like Zeus. Thunder in the sky light you up like Zeus. Oh, uh, I got yeah. the rules. I'm a god, call me Zeus. I'm higher than an eagle and I bet on me too. Took a long time to get here and I'm feeling brand new. If you living like a bum, get away from me. Oh, I got money on my mind. I can't leave it up to you. I can't hang around with you. I'm falling in love. I'll never do that. put a bounty on your head. This is way above feds. When you playing with the gods and you playing with the dead. Let me go. Let loose Hey, little mama, let me play the Joker boots. I know the ladies love me because I'm sweet like a tooth. Play a hating on the gods, but you such a douche. I tried to be patient, but you had to light my fuse. I'm catching all these snakes like a mongoose. These ladies love me, yeah, Dark I'm the one that they choose. You know I'm so handsome, that's why they call me Zeus. This is how I move you see that, buddy? like Zeus. That's why they call me Zeus. And that's like why they Zeus. call you Zeus. This is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus. And I didn't see anything like, that like handsome when I'm next looking like Zeus. Zeus. So be clear with my mood when I'm looking <laughs> like Zeus. Oh, he's going to get me. Look like Zeus. But that's all right. Jack Smith. Jack Smith.
Trumpeter. His wife's a Trumpeter. His family's a Trumpeter. They all hate Trump. They hate him with a passion. They'll do anything they can to hurt Trump. But he's a harasser and an abuser. And he's a big Trumpeter. Openly, he's a Trumpeter. And his wife is even more of a Trumpeter. And Donald Trump is indicted and they take him. One charge is turned into 36 charges. Trump hater. His wife's a Trump hater. His family's a Trump hater. They all have 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 Trump hater. They